starts now. Good evening, I'm Cooper Henkel. During the mid-1970s and 80s, large groups of Hmong immigrants arrived in the United States after the fall of South Vietnam, many of them settling right here in Wisconsin. Decades later, those first-generation immigrant elders are aging, and the Hmong American Center celebrated a new partnership to help meet their changing needs. Newswatch 12's Cal Pazorski has more. The Hmong American Center, located on 6th Street in Wausau, held a ribbon-cutting ceremony for their new meal site through a collaboration with the Aging and Disabilities Resource Center. It took a lot of hours to work through the small and large details, and today it has all come together, and there, there's reason to celebrate. For years, Hmong elders lacked easy access to ethnic foods. ADRC representatives say the meal site will help in many ways. So what does this mean? Are you asking? The ADRC and the Hmong American Center here at this place will provide good nutrition to older adults 60 and, plus, 60 and over. Leaders within the Hmong American Center agree, expressing excitement for the program starting next year. Because of this wonderful partnership between uh, the Hmong American Center and the ADRC, we will be able to provide nutritious meal to our elders once a week beginning 2022. He continued saying projects such as this require great partnership across organizations. This was the easiest collaboration I've ever seen in my life. I know I talked to Jonette within five minutes. She was all on supportive of it. It wasn't just her, but her amazing team. Legislators Jerry Petrowski and Patrick Snyder were also in attendance. Snyder expressing his thoughts of appreciation towards the meal site. I'm so uh, appreciative of something like this. It just kind of comes to fruition now that our elders are uh, coming up to that age where, uh, you know, we think about retirement and whatnot, that something like this is needed. Reporting in Wausau, Kyle Bzorski, Newswatch 12. All right, Andrew, I know you said that snow out there doesn't have great chances of survival. How long do you think it's going to last? Maybe another day or two, Cooper, because we don't have many more snow chances in the forecast and we have warmer temperatures on the way. For tonight, we do have a couple of those flurries still possible, lingering into parts of the North Woods and into the UP in the form of lake effect showers into tonight. Right now, temperatures are in the middle 20s and we are going to be shaving off possibly another 10 degrees tonight for some spots. So hanging out into those upper teens for those overnight lows, getting those right before daybreak on our Monday. Now, I do want to point out too that that winds are going to be trending more on the mild side throughout overnight, so I do not think that we'll be concerned so much about a wind chill factor for overnight. Just downright colder temperatures as we get into early parts of our Monday morning. And then we do have a little bit of a warm up on the way coming for Monday and Tuesday, but what's after that? Well, I'll tell you that in just a bit. Cooper? Thanks, Andrew. The Green Bay Packers were back at home today taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Newswatch 12's Nate Myhawk and Griffin Strain were at Lambeau and have a quick recap of today's action. Nate, I know a lot of people were excited about a snow game here at Lambeau, uh, myself included. So was I. <laughs> By the time of kickoff, though, it was bone dry here at Lambeau. Yeah, and we didn't really get the full snow globe effect like I think a lot of people were hoping, but there was still a lot to get excited about. I mean, Aaron Rodgers back on the field, also Russell Wilson back here at Lambeau, uh, but this game didn't really live up to the hype it had, at least on offense. Yeah, neither team seemed able to move the ball. We only had a combined three points heading into the fourth quarter. A huge reason for that was turnovers. Both Rodgers and Wilson threw horrible interceptions in the end zone. Rust for both QBs was obvious. In the end, though, the Packer defense got the job done. Green Bay allowed just over 200 yards of offense and picked up their first shutout win in three seasons. Nate, an ugly win, but a win at that. Uh, we'll have post-game reaction from players and, of course, Matt LaFleur coming up next in sports. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer held a press conference in New York today. He spoke about how increasing gasoline prices are impacting Americans, saying that President Biden's administration should tap into emergency petroleum reserves to lower those rising prices ahead of the holiday. We need immediate relief at the gas pump, and the place to look is the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. So that's why I'm urging the administration to tap that reserve, get the prices down, and then we have to embark on a full-time campaign to get us away from carbon fuels altogether. Schumer says getting temporary price controls in place ahead of the holiday travel season will be essential for the country's economic recovery. 
The Senate Majority Leader said all industry supply chains have been impacted by COVID-19, but fuel gasoline was hit worst of all. A caravan is in, in underway in South Florida in support of Cuban people. The event is planned by the assembly of the Cuban resistance. Some say they're doing it because they want the people of Cuba to know that they support them and, quote, the peaceful struggle for freedom, unquote. Pro-democracy activists in Cuba say that they plan to hold public protests there Monday to gather for greater freedom of expression. 34 bodies have been identified following prison clashes on Saturday in Ecuador. According to the government there, coffins will be delivered to the families today. At least 68 inmates have died after violence broke out overnight Saturday in one of the penitentiaries, the same prison where more than 100 people were killed over a month ago. Officials say no incidents were reported in 36 nationwide detention centers today. Austria will be implementing new COVID-19 restrictions starting tomorrow. Austrian Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg announced all residents aged 12 and older who are not fully vaccinated will be ordered to stay home. There will be exemptions for some specific reasons. Officers carrying out spot checks will be policing the rules on those who are out. Unvaccinated people are already excluded from entertainment venues, restaurants and other parts of public life in Austria. The preliminary research that just found 53% of Americans controlled their blood pressure last year. That's down from 60% in 2019. Some patients avoided the doctor's office during the pandemic, while others weren't able to get care because their physician's offices were overwhelmed. Doctors say they're starting to see the effects of the pandemic in other ways. They say patients are showing up sicker due to out-of-control blood pressure and other pandemic-related lapses in healthcare. Uncontrolled blood pressure can lead to higher risk for heart attack, stroke, and other diseases, including kidney disease. As Colorado's hospitals fill up with COVID patients, the state isn't turning to 2020 solutions like mask mandates or capacity restrictions. Instead, the surging response is pushing monoclonal body antibody treatments for people who test positive before they get really sick. Part of that push is getting those treatments straight to nursing homes and assisted living facilities where outbreaks are getting bigger. Reporter Louis Dion shows us how it works. That's all closed up. Michelle Jenkins is doing what she always does. Oh yes, very much. They're, they're comfortable in their own home. The longtime physician's assistant with Bloom Healthcare is getting ready to go inside this assisted living facility in Arvada to help a patient. So this is our transport refrigerator. But so today is different. So this is what we use. Today, she's helping give monoclonal antibody treatment to 79-year-old Cole Ray Jr. His stepdaughter, Margaret, tells us he got Pfizer's vaccine but was diagnosed with COVID-19 this past week. Oh, he's just very, matter of fact, very, you know, I've had my shots, you know, I'll be fine. You know, don't worry about it. I'm feeling great. The treatment, doctors say, can be given through a transfusion or injection. Essentially, it boosts the immune system and gives at-risk Coloradans a better chance of staying out of the hospital. Bloom Healthcare has done nearly 300 treatments since August. Patients actually start to feel better as early as within 6 to 12 hours after receiving this treatment. Dr. Adit Ginde with UC Health worked on the research behind this treatment. While he believes it's very effective in keeping folks out of the hospital, he does not think it should replace the vaccine. Anything we can do to keep people out of the hospital um, in general, but especially right now, is critically important. As for Margaret, she's just hoping that the treatment works just as well on her stepdad as it does on others. I'm confident. I think, he, you know, he's strong. Heavy winds hit New England hard this weekend. Plus, a new deal out of Glasgow as scientists and politicians negotiate on a strategy to keep global warming capped at 1.5 degrees Celsius. That's after weather in just a few. to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV, and come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Now lease America's all-time best-selling SUV, Ford Explorer, for just $3.89 a month, only at your local Ford dealer. Hey guys. Hey dad. You ready? This holiday, U.S. Cellular is doing a little something extra to keep everyone connected. Right now, choose any phone from any brand at any of our stores for free. Plus, save big with unlimited data for our best price of the season, just $30 a month. Now that's a deal to cheer about. 
Feel the locally grown joy from U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Are you living with a prosthesis that is causing discomfort or pain? You have options, and I'm here to help. Hi, my name is Shai. I'm the owner of Next Step Prosthetics in Marshfield. You have a choice where you go for prosthetic care. My focus and specialty is providing a prosthesis that you enjoy wearing to help you get your life back. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let's take the next step together to a better life. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. Welcome on back. Our snow depth graphic has not looked as full as it does right now, seeing all of that blue in the Great Lakes region after the snowfall over the weekend. And we're about to lose that snow just as quickly as we got it. So to take a quick look at that snowfall that is out there right now, we had a good two to four inches of snowfall land in the north central Wisconsin region with most of that snowfall targeted towards the Fox Valley area with some areas getting upwards of four inches of snow. Now we're not going to be adding any really more accumulating snowfall onto the snow that's already on the ground. Any snowfall that will be continuing on tonight into our Monday will be largely in the form of lake effect flurries and those will be largely trapped into the U. A couple trying to spill on down into mostly Vilas County. Otherwise, we will be picking up with some partly sunny skies for Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday's looking like more of a gray day coming on up. But then we do have a chance for a couple of rain showers. Most of those looking like they're going to be tracking towards the UP for now. But parts of northeast Wisconsin, we could get a couple uh, rain showers later on Tuesday into the evening. And then we're drying on out once again for much of the upcoming rest of the week. So looking at that future snowfall that we have on the way due to that lake effect that's coming into our over overnight into our Monday afternoon. Not much to speak about here, maybe an inch in far northern areas of the UP. A little bit of this, a couple flurries will try to trickle into northern Wisconsin, but we aren't going to be adding on any more uh, accumulating snowfall as we get into beginning parts of the week. So now I want to turn our attention over to the wind. This is going to be the big key for the forecast coming up for early parts of this week. This is helping out with that lake effect that we've been having today and this evening as winds are coming out of the northwest. Still feeling that they're still going to be coming out of the northwest as we start off our Monday and these will be pretty light so wind speeds coming in near 5 to 10 miles an hour but then we're shutting off our snow machine as winds do transition to more of out of the south southwest as a warm front starts to track into our region bringing in some warmer temperatures that's gonna be with some warm air evection we'll take a look at that in just a second but then getting a little later into our Tuesday we are gonna be then ramping up those wind speeds having wind gusts getting near 30 miles an hour if not 25 miles an hour so expect that kind of a breezy day to redevelop as soon as Tuesday and we'll keep the wind into our Wednesday. Now I do want to touch on high temperatures for today. Many of us trapped in those lower 30s seen around the region all today, even down to Chicago 37 for a high today. Now I just spoke about that warm air evection that we're going to be having. So what that means is we're trading out that wind from the northwest, cutting off that snow supply, getting more of a southwest breeze. And you can see that this is going to be helping drive in some warmer temperatures into our Tuesday to Wednesday. But just remember that this is going to be with more of a breezy wind coming on in. So warm temperatures but we're gonna be feeling in that wind so looking at that temperature trend that we have on the way Monday 35 a little bit warmer than we were today but then we are talking about the 40s as soon as Tuesday and maybe some of us staying there for Wednesday but upper 30s will also be common and then after those couple of breezy and warmer days we're having a cold front track through the region bringing us back to temperatures in the lower to middle 30s so then coming up for the rest of the week cooling on off and those uh, colder temperatures on the way this will help trigger more lake effect showers coming on up into later parts of the week so other than than that not a lot of snowfall on the way we'll wait until the weekend for our next system to pass on by with a cold front that will be tracking through the state so for now uh, for now tonight partly cloudy skies a bit colder with temperatures near 17 for tonight tomorrow looking for that little bit of a warm up starting with highs near 35 trading out that northwest breeze for winds out of the southwest and now for a look at your seven-day forecast brought to you by northwoods furniture and mattress will show us mostly on the dry side all week long but for the gun deer opener know that we're going to be having that cold front passing by with chances for rain and snow cooper Thanks, Andrew. Parts of the Northeast got hit with rain, hail, and gusty winds this weekend.
Connecticut took the brunt of the storm, which toppled power lines and downed trees, causing damage to homes and cars. Part of southern New England were under multiple tornado warnings as winds and heavy rains blew through the area. In Massachusetts, motorists had to navigate around trees that toppled onto highways. Thunder and lightning pounded the area, and people even witnessed hail. Now, there is no possibility of stopping global warming. The best case scenario is a slight increase in global average temperatures. Most climate models show that 1.5 degrees Celsius warming will occur. Now, if we shut down all fossil fuel energy plants, killed all methane producing livestock, and switched to zero emission transportation today, increased temperatures are inevitable. A deal reached at the COP26 climate summit ended with a global agreement encouraging countries to speed up their move away from fossil fuels. Experts say that should keep hopes of capping warming at 1.5 degrees alive. I think today we can say with credibility that we have kept 1.5 degrees within reach, but its pulse is weak. The agreement outlines steps the world should take, such as cutting global carbon emissions nearly in half by 2030. And it also set up new rules to hold countries accountable for their achieved or failed progress. In the end, envoys from China, India and the United States, along with the European Union, agreed to amend the language to ask countries to, quote, phase down their use of coal instead of outright ending it. Many activists took to social media to express their disappointment. They say this agreement doesn't go far enough to make meaningful change. Greta Thunberg tweeted that the real work on climate change will continue outside these halls, encouraging activists to take action rather than waiting on politicians to lead the way. For the eighth time this season, the Green Bay Packers are victorious. Let's check in now with our sports team of Nate Myhock and Griffin Stroy. Hey Cooper, we're here at Lambeau Field following the Packers' 17-0 win over the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, a huge reason for that win, the defense. What a performance from them. We'll hear from the defensive players coming up next in sports. Well, if it isn't Big Hardy, you fixing to sauce me up? Sick those beefy twins on this cheese hound? Scram, Big Mac, go play with your extra toy bun. The adults are getting meaty. Hurry to Hardy's for the big Hardy. Feed your happy. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale and get the best for free. Through Saturday, get free installation on our best-selling carpet, free estimates, and interest-free financing. That's right. Free carpet installation, free estimates, and interest-free financing. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center. Come see why contractors and designers choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. And get the best for free with free carpet installation through Saturday. Carpet City. Did you know that working with a professional realtor yields a 10% higher sales price than selling on your own? It can often be even higher. Professional realtors have vast resources to market your home, guaranteeing reach to the maximum number of potential buyers. Ready to sell? Visit upnorthmls.com to find a Northwoods realtor ready to serve you. Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. Over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. They call you really big hardy. Must be those triple sauce meat heaps. How about you cloak me in cheese? Drape me in a three-piece potty suit like a beef tycoon. The really big hardy is back. Feed your happy. Another Sunday, another win for the Green Bay Packers. Let's go to Lambeau Field where our sports team will recap the game. Well, Nate, after two weeks away from Lambeau Field, the Packers made their return, uh, and Aaron Rodgers made his return from the COVID-19 list. Yeah, going up against Russell Wilson and the Seahawks, and we've seen a fair share of nail biters between these two teams over the years. But fans were left waiting for a while for some action. Both teams only combined for five first downs in the opening quarter. 
And Aaron Rodgers came out a little bit sluggish. Two underthrown balls killed a couple of Green Bay's drives early on. And after one quarter of play, we have no score and five punts. On the first drive of the second quarter, though, the Packers offense would finally find a rhythm. They go 82 yards down the field, but only come away with three points, which felt like a missed opportunity. But the Packer defense held tough. Rashawn Gary coming up with the sack, their second of the half to give the ball back to Rodgers and company. But maybe the week away from football made Rodgers a little rusty. He appeared to have fumbled away a snap, but the refs rule in his favor. But as they say, ball don't lie. Rodgers' pass is jarred loose on fourth down, so the Packers head to the break with only three points. Just execution. You know, I didn't, we didn't run the ball well uh, for a decent part of the game. We were a little off in the pass game uh, in the red zone and, and just didn't have, guys, didn't have guys open. After yet another punt, the Packers keep relying on the defense to make stops. It looks like Kevin King had picked off Wilson in the end zone. Even though it looked like that ball came free, we play on. You want to keep building, keep building, keep building. You never want to, you know, think of that, oh, I've arrived. We did this in the last three weeks. You know, it's like, you know, three weeks from now, y'all might be saying something different. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, just keep the mind on what's at hand. Green Bay then used a heavy dose of Aaron Jones. 47 receiving yards on the drive, but it was all for naught. Rodgers throws up a prayer and it is intercepted in the end zone. One of the biggest head scratchers of the game. Going back, I probably should have just kept a play on, hit Cobby on a little slant route there based on the coverage. Following Green Bay's third trip to the red zone without a touchdown, the Packers finally convert an A.J. Dillon three-yard touchdown run. That puts Green Bay up 10. Wilson would then chuck up a prayer of his own, but he gets picked off by Adrian Amos. The Packers would hammer home the final nail in the coffin with another A.J. Dillon touchdown run. Packers win this game 17 to nothing. That was championship-level defense for sure. I mean, the last three games playing against uh, three stud quarterbacks, that's an amazing three-game stretch. This gives us a lot of confidence moving forward. We, we've been battle-tested throughout the season. This season, we've, we've been in every situation, and I think that's going to um, carry over well to you know the rest of the season because we've seen it all. Despite the win, Green Bay stacked up a few injuries to some key players. Aaron Jones, Rashawn Gary, and Whitney Merciless, which could play a big role later on in the season. That's, that's going to be another challenge that we have to take on, and we're going to have to have other guys step up, and they're going to have to put in the work, and, and we're going to have to get back to that grind starting tomorrow. A win is a win, though, Nate, and the Packers improve to 8-2 and two on the year, but like you said, those injuries, I mean, they could have some heavy implications heading into the end of the season. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, but like you said, a win's a win, and the Packers, they got to get right back into it. Divisional matchup coming next week as they go on the road to Minnesota, but that'll do it for Week 10. I'm Nate Myhock. That's Griffin Stroin reporting from Lambeau Field. Coming up after the break, a teen's disappearance from a college dorm leaves big questions. We'll tell you about Brendan Santo and his disappearance after the break in just a few minutes, right here on Newswatch 12 Weekends. I have worked at HuffCorp for the last 36 years. HuffCorp, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. At a time when misinformation is all too common on social media, we take great pride in bringing you the news that matters, that impacts your family, news you can trust. Local broadcast journalists bring you the facts, covering the stories breaking in our community and across the globe. Text TV to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on local journalism. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. But when the movements in my hands and feet started throwing me off at work, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Austeta. 
She said that Ostero helps reduce TD movements in adults, while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Ostero can cause depression, suicidal thoughts, or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Ostetto if you have liver problems, are taking Respirin, Tetrabenazine, or Valbenazine. Ostetto may cause a regular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Ostetto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforostetto.com. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks. Or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. In Michigan, the mysterious disappearance of an 18-year-old college student drew together his hometown community. They hope their prayers will bring Brendan back home. Faraz Javid reports. Prayers continue for the safe return of 18-year-old Brendan Santo. One of the organizers, Amy King, says at 10 this morning, family, friends, teammates, as well as the Rochester Hills community all stood united at Santos' former high school. We had a vision to bring the community together to um, just uh, pray for hope and peace, and peace uh, for Brendan and his family and for the whole community. The Grand Valley State University student Brendan Santo was visiting friends at MSU the weekend of the Michigan versus Michigan State football game. He vanished after walking back to a friend's dorm Friday, October 29th, just before midnight. The disappearance has left everyone perplexed and concerned. My wife and I came here today for Brendan and his whole family. Um, I think as parents, we can relate. Um, our son grew up with Brendan and played hockey with Brendan. And uh, I think I would hope somebody would do the same thing for us if this ever happened to our family. Various law enforcement agencies, including the FBI, have conducted searches. In fact, tomorrow morning at 10, a civil search will take place in East Lansing. So far, police do not suspect foul play. And according to the Facebook page, Bring Brendan Santa Home, the teen was not depressed or unhappy with his home or school life and is very close with his parents. Meanwhile, the reward for anyone with credible information that leads to bringing Santo home has been increased from $5,000 to $11,000. Wausau's new choice for fiber internet, TV, and phone. Learn more at tdsfiber.com. Explore the genius of play at Imaginuity, the Northwood specialty toy store offering a universe of play possibilities for all ages. Save time and stay safe. Place an order at imaginuityplay.com to pick up at either store location or arrange delivery. When you join the Shop Small movement, you'll enjoy a more relaxed, fun, and rewarding experience. Visit Imaginuity, downtown Rhinelander, Manaqua, or online and put more play in your day. One of our biggest sales of the year, the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new, what's in stock, and save 25% on our great accessories. Give your home that special touch. Plus, totally free shipping. Huge store-wide savings at the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. And for better sleep, come to Slumberland Sleep Solutions and see how easy it is now to shop for a mattress. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. 
It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life both professionally and romantically. Paint. Right now at Menards, get 11% off everything, including Dutch Boy Paint. Cancer wants time. Delays. Missed appointments. It wants us to forget what we need. At Marshfield Clinic Cancer Care and Research, we're not giving cancer what it wants. We're giving you everything you need to beat it. Advanced Cancer Care. Close to home. Ready to see you now. Snoopy is going to space. NASA will be bringing up one of the stuffed animals as part of the Artemis 1 moon mission. Astronaut Snoopy will serve as a zero gravity indicator for his trip. Snoopy will be wearing his own custom fit flight suit complete with gloves, boots, and a NASA patch. Pretty exciting thing. I had a Snoopy toy myself, big Peanuts fan. Very excited to see him go to the moon. Very exciting, and you know, going up to the moon, seeing that nice uh, snow development as the winter season progresses. We have a little bit of snow up there right now, but we are probably going to be losing it sometime this week with warmer temperatures on the way. And not much more to speak of for accumulating snowfall in the forecast. Here we are seeing through Monday a little bit of that snowfall that's going to be uh, mostly trapped into the UP anyways, and any accumulating snowfall will be well up there, less than one inch expected. And then our next system passes over the weekend, so any uh, deer gun hunters out there know that there's going to be a cold front passing on by, so good luck getting those deer out there and then we'll be having that mix of rain and snow tracking through the state over the weekend otherwise the forecast remaining mostly on the dry side some flurries for monday and those warmer temperatures middle parts of the week so look forward to that cooper all right sounds good that's it for your north news around the northwoods have a great night